IP address. Your computer's internet protocol address is a 4-part or 8-part electronic serial number. An IP address can look something like the one on your screen. Every computer, cell phone, and device that accesses the internet is assigned at least one IP address for tracking purposes. Wherever you browse, whenever you send an email or instant message, and whenever you download a file, your IP address acts like a type of automobile license plate to enforce accountability and traceability. What is an IP address? Is it the same as domain name? You see this IP address expression more and more. Your computer has an IP address. Your phone has an IP address. Even Coke machines have IP addresses. Cops on CSI and other T5 shows trace criminals by their IP addresses. But what exactly is an IP address? Simply put, IP address, or Internet Protocol Address, is a unique identifying number given to every single computer on the Internet. Like a car license plate, an IP address is a special serial number used for identification any machine connected to the Internet has an IP address. Xbox games, cell phones, fax machines, and even soda pop dispensers have IP addresses. In every case, the IP address acts both like a car license plate and like a telephone number. It shows ownership, allows the machine to be located by other machines, and empowers authorities to track and protect people's safety, if need be how IP addresses look. IP addresses have two common formats. IP version 4 addresses are comprised of four numbers only segments separated by dots. IP address is not the same as domain name addresses. For nearly every web server, the IP address is invisibly translated into a natural English domain name for ease of use. But technically speaking, the IP address is the true identifier of a web server. The domain name is simply a redirector pointer to help people find the web server. Email Email is electronic mail. It is the sending and receiving of typewritten messages from one screen to another. Email is usually handled by a webmail service for example. Gmail or Yahoo Mail, or an installed software package for example. Microsoft Outlook. Email has many cousins, text messaging, instant messaging, live chat, video mail, Google waving. 8. Blog, which is also known as weblog is a modern online writer's column amateur, and professional writers publish their blogs on most every kind of topic, their hobby interest in paintball and tennis, their opinions on health care, their commentaries on celebrity gossip, photo blogs of favorite pictures, tech tips on using Microsoft Office. Absolutely anyone can start a blog, and some people actually make reasonable incomes by selling advertising on their blog pages. Web blogs are usually arranged chronologically and with less formality than a full website. Blogs vary in quality from very amateurish to very professional. It costs nothing to start your own personal blog. 9. Social media is the broad term for any online tool that enables users to interact with thousands of other users. Instant messaging and chatting are common forms of social media, as are blogs with comments, discussion forums, video sharing and photo sharing websites. Facebook and MySpace are very large social media sites. Social bookmarking is of the specific form of social media. Social bookmarking is where users interact by recommending websites to each other. What is social media? The best way to define social media is to break it down. Media is an instrument on communication, like a newspaper or a radio, so social media would be a social instrument of communication. In Web 2.0 terms, this would be a website that doesn't just give you information, but interacts with you while giving you that information. This interaction can be as simple as asking for your comments, or letting you vote on an article, or it can be as complex as Flickster recommending movies to you based on the ratings of other people with similar interests. Think of regular media as a one-way street, where you can read a newspaper or listen to a report on television, but you have very limited ability to give your thoughts on the matter. Social media, on the other hand, is a two-way street that gives you the ability to communicate to 10. The ISP. ISP is Internet Service Provider. That is the private company or government organization 
that plugs you into the vast Internet around the world. Internet service provider will offer varying services for varying prices, web page access, email, hosting your own web page, hosting your own blog. Internet service providers will also offer various Internet connection speeds for a monthly fee. Today, you will also hear about WISPs, which are wireless Internet service providers. They cater to laptop users who travel regularly.